didn't cut your nails? We are here. Did you get a manicure? At the Renaissance Waverly. The pit. We are at the pit. There you go. We're gonna do Wieners of Steel Blade Show 2016. Who wants to start? Yeah, Let's start with the bandit. No. Let's start with you, because you have No, no, you're stuff. all set. What do you mean half the shit's yours? Let's all start right now, right, right here. Right you there. guys killed it. Y'all did. Alright. So actually the guy who made that is is at the table. Yes. Yeah. We have Rob Carter. Rob Carter knives right here. So I'm not actually gonna talk about it. Well you should probably, talk about it. Because I'm gonna say that it's like the wrong steel and everybody's gonna get mad. Yeah, Rob's at gonna sit next to us. Alright, so, go ahead. I'll do no such thing. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. What did you win here? All this right, was so a lotto knife. That was my lottery knife. And I've been looking at that knife since Thursday. Why? Why you been well, looking at it since just, Thursday? Well, I have an F16 uh, variant with the, the thumb disc. This thing is gorgeous. And I had my eye on a flipper. I've been watching. And, uh, I've been looking at this thing since Instagram. And the satin blade and the whole. I don't know. It's, uh, excuse it's, me. It's more than a satin blade. It's a it's a Rob Carter. It's carterized, hand rubbed. This is a hand rub. It's carterized. Yeah. Have you ever been shaving with this thing? Let me see that. No, see I that. haven't done it. I just took it out of yeah, the let's, case. Let's wipe it off. Here, wipe it down. Oh. We got tons of... Don't wipe it on your shirt. You're going to... No, he knows. You, you, you're questioning. He knows what he's doing. We still got smudge marks, but... <laughs> it's, uh... That's just a credit to the hand rub there. I think it's pewter grease. Yeah, basically, you start <laughs> right here in the, in the plunge line, and you mash down pretty hard, and you have to stroke every time. It has to be Love straight. It. That's sick. That is sick. <laughs> stroke me, stroke me. Can That's some tolerance. That TJ Rob Carter. Yeah. Can you can you polish it? Can you hand rub this one for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> this one was enough pain in the day. That's S90. It says yeah, S90P. Oh man, that's awesome. Pivot uh, collar, Mokatai. Yep. Sweet. Mokotai Zipper. Clip. Zipper. Mokotai back spacer. Zipper pattern. And I actually made that. The. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. The backspacer oh, is yours. Oh man! Yep. So is Sweet. that the same material that your open bit is made from? Yes. Wow. That's cool. This is a beautiful knife. Yeah, I'm real happy. That, that is like butter, butter smooth. Black and titanium. That is something that I, I recently learned how to do. Oh, let's bring it. Well, his place. his isn't. They're almost. Uh, oh. They're very equal. Uh. <laughs> where's where's the where's the where's the sound effects? <laughs> that sounded like Chewbacca, man. Actually, that was that's actually the Jetsons. a Jetsons mobile. Nope. Oh, fail. So, <laughs> we have a mis misfire. So, this misfire. one is the one that uh, Rob made for me that was delivered to me a blade. This one is an F16 non flipper with the beautiful hand rub on the S90V yeah. and the black and tie that uh, Rob was just talking about. Earth. Got Zerk pocket clip. Beautiful. Sculpted, multicolored, multi. Zerk collar. Are the, are the pivot collars heat treated also? Yeah. Like a multi color. They're orange peeled. Like uh, your backspacer Zerk. It's orange peeled, real lightly. Sweet. Orange peeled stainless for your pivot screw and zirconium heat colored to blue. Best I could Question, match it up. On the pivot, did you shape that or that's the way? Oh, no, no. That, that's like a brick hanging off the side of the that's knife. That's what I thought. It's like a solid piece. And every one of them is custom made for each, each knife. Sweet. And contoured custom for each knife. Awesome. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And Ooh, butter almost, Yeah. I almost cut my don't finger. Don't cut that finger off. If Vinny was here, would demonstrate Look, what happens. It actually made a When a knife cuts your, your finger off. Across the nail? <laughs> yeah. Across the nail, it made a mark. Where is Vinny? We gotta show his fingers cut off. You have yours? <laughs> no. I know. Vinny what? Fail. No, <laughs> on an accident, something. industrial accident, Vinny, Vinny. So we have someone else here that I didn't also we were, got. I didn't know we were also doing got it. a Carter. Is F that here? 16. No. Dude. Is it upset? Full dress. Dude, go get it. Dude. Go get it. You have to get it. You gotta get it. Right. This is the Robert Carter portion of Wieners of Steel. Huh? <laughs> oh my God. Let's so, talk about. Well, so John's getting his. So yep, let's John let's talk about F16. some of the Scooby Loose beads that you guys scored yep, at yep. the show. So these are these are yours, Steve. Yeah, those are mine. So he went with the uh, the nuclear bead. Illuminate. This thing is Illuminate. glowing. It seriously glows. I don't know if the you people know. think this is special effects, but it actually glows. This is Illuminate yes, from Scoopy Loops. And I wish when he comes back, we'll have him talk about it. But this is yeah, those spectacular. Were, those and the money, the money, the money, Illuminate the money ones are gone. He's trying to become the powerhouse. I saw, I saw, He's got these in blue, like too, but they did not. They do not. 
Globe. Globe. Like, don't this. Pop, like, this is Judgment Day right here. Yeah. You drop this thing, there's going to be a freaking mushroom cloud. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to come out the other side. Mushroom yeah. cloud. This is going to go right to the table. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, who's my car to one is this? Uh, those are a couple I picked up for what? Kelly. You know what this looks wanted? like? Like the... Oh, okay. Chocolate. It looks sick. It does. It looks delicious. I want to eat it. It looks delicious. It looks like a choco taco. It, it looks like, the, yeah, it looks like a mocha chino. Mocha chino. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked this, up this, that one and a brass one for Kelly. Oh, sweet. It looks like the coffee cubes. Oh man, yeah, it looks like Brooklyn Water Bagels ice cubes. So over here in Atlanta at the Brooklyn Water Bagel, they, they make ice cubes out of actual coffee. Dude. And they drop the ice cubes. They look very similar to this. all the way to Atlanta to go to Brooklyn Water Bagels. That's, right Brian, that's Brian's such favorite. New York trainers. That is Brian's favorite. Fucking trainers. <laughs> Dude, they're so good. That's our secret. Now it's yeah. out. Yeah, don't tell anybody. We're going to have to edit that part out. No, we're not. So no one hears about Brooklyn Water Leave Bagel. Leave it in. No. It makes it so much So better. you got this brass one. I think John was very successful oh, yeah. with his two days so far. He said yesterday he sold 150 plus beads, I think. Yeah. That's that's just loopy. That is loopy. That's just loopy. And then yeah. today he said he's it's nonstop, that's awesome. man. Yeah, the orange ones are gone. You see the orange one? Yeah, the orange ones are gone. That looks cool. This is, who's is this? Is this? They're all mine. That's the one John gave me. I asked for a plain satin titanium one to put on my power tool. It's light. Uh, this is super light. With all my other satin, plain satin beads. That's sweet. I remember when I used to carry like. And let's look. What are these guys? Ah. Josh is in here. Is Josh coming? Uh, yeah, I'm about to check him in. So these are made by our buddy Josh, Tacticon Tools. This is like a. Um, these are the tritaniums. Yep. These are still available. Just hit him up on his Instagram. Little titanium, pretty anodized, thick. blasted, Yeah, pretty thick washed. stock of uh, titanium like there. Pattern. And it's that little guy is going to go on this thing. little guy. Yeah. Right. Oh, check it out. The Illuminati. Nice these are, I don't know. I just, so it's got like two them. sizes. It's got a large and a small. Orange. Different. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nice and even. It's orange. Josh is a budding uh, knife uh, pimper. What's a better word? Josh, modifier. 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 Yeah. So if nice. you help him out, he it just helps he him buy his tools to, he keeps a small to work his craft. Uh, he's he a good, he's a good young, he's a good young nice. standard dude. <laughs> hey, you go do all that cutting business. You go do that cutting. <laughs> Make sure you put hey, your let's money talk back. To, bring back this one now. That's what I'm going to put my little bead on. The um, which one? My little uh, Tacticon tools bead. Uh, Blue. Yeah. Matches yeah. the back spacer. So we just found out something about. Now we know gift. we know Rob. Wait, wait, stop. This was a gift from Jack because sure. he got first pick and he took the blue, and then he saw me kind of weeping about it. So he was nice enough to hold my hand and, and give me the blue one. So you guys have seen this before on the show, What's that? but I found out something this yeah. weekend. I didn't. I know that Rob forged this steel, but I didn't realize he forged it when he was only 15. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that is exactly crazy. Right. And that was only he like was, three years ago. Oh, that, that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, dude. I am really honored I own one of these. That yeah. is awesome. I'm honored that he gave me the option to even get one. That he just is on the Whenever I was I was younger, during the, the summer months, that's all I would do all summer. I would make Damascus that's for awesome. Uh, yeah. 15 and 20 and uh 1095 and nickel. I would make Damascus for my dad and my grandfather Melvin. That's awesome. And that's that's what I did all summer. That's, that's how I made my money. And whatever scraps they had, I'd pick them up. Sure enough, I found a use for them. That's great, brother. That's dope. And you're still continuing to practice now. That's yeah, evidenced by your the, lotto knife there. Where is it? Yeah. This one. Oh, Whoa. Jesus. New Year's. It's a user. I throw it around. <laughs> yeah, talk about this one. <laughs> well, this was a lottery knife Ooh. that I acquired. On a, on a website somewhere. <laughs> Shame <Shady> lurking. <laughs> this is also Rob's Damascus. Yeah. Is uh, this your first sand mine? Yeah, that is my first sand mine Damascus. First attempt and last attempt. Now this is just the bandit because it, it is a user for the bandit, so you can see a little bit of the abuse on it. That's right. I got I got soft spun cotton. Oh man. <laughs> Giving that stuff turned out. Nobody crazy. wants. Yeah, this is awesome. Use the I was really proud of that. Oh my god, oh he my licked god. it! He now, missed that! He's using tongue decks. He's using tongue decks to clean his knife. <laughs> well, how did you make this? What what did you put into this? Uh, well, I started Besides out with love. Tears. Yeah, I started out with a lot of love and passion. 
uh, I think it was 30 layers of wow. 1095 in nickel. Wow. And I extruded it out, forged it out, stretched it out to, I want to say, 16 inches. Wow. And then I had, I had a few bad spots in it because the, the forge I was running, we were jam it in burning there. a little bit too much oxygen, so we get we were getting scale. Yeah. And so I had to cut some of it out. Ended up with about a foot. Yeah, she usually says that with one of the I said, well, I got a piece of W2 stand sitting there. I'll, I'll just throw that in between them. I'll cut this in half and throw that in between them. I was able to get one blade out of the wow. out of the sand mine. That was what I made. And now the bandit owns it. And now the bandit owns it. The bandit uses it. Wiener history. And I, I he definitely like, uses it. You can see the scuff I like, marks. I like seeing the... the Scratches and scuff marks on it. A lot of knife makers say that. I found life, a lot of knife makers say that they like that they're seeing now, their knives getting used. The S90V hand, <laughs> hand rubbed blade. He's gonna blade. tell. He's gonna be honest. He doesn't want us to use those. I, yeah. <laughs> tell us. I tell don't. Us. I, I do not want y'all to scratch those up. I, I mean, it's, if you want to use back. it, use it. You know, make it your user. But don't. You know, put Listen, like some I, deep I already have a user. No, yeah, don't put like something oh, that it's gonna need stitches. So I know, already have the metal needs stitches. So, How much time do you invest in making a hand once, of steel? Once I bring this knife, the blade to like a high 1200 grip the scratches. polish right off the, the grinder, Right. it's like another six to eight stop. hours oh worth my of God. hand rubbing. God. That's one of my favorite knives. Oh like my God. Users. And then it, it has to be you done know, in you, steps. You, you have to hand rub the bevel before you grind the tip. That right. way the, this line is That's stays really line very sharp and crisp. Right. Because if you, let's say that you just go ahead and grind the whole blade tips on there, grind lines everywhere. You start rubbing all this area back and forth, back and forth. Well, if unless your sanding block is the perfect radius to fit in this radius that you've ground this bevel to, yeah. you're gonna wash this line out. Sure, right. And I've right. seen it on many, many knives where it might have been beautiful at one point in time, but once the maker started hand rubbing it, this line just diminished. Yeah. And it's just, it's very faint to see it. Right. So the steps that I take and use are to preserve this line. Yeah. I didn't even consider that line. It. That's crazy. You heard that? And yeah, I that's, was listening to that's whole crazy. Line. That's what makes it. <laughs> I mean, look how. So much, so much work, so yeah. much time invested in You definitely into it. did that. You took care of that. Because that's sick. I guarantee if you grind this tip and you leave this, your worst scratch will be right there where that line is. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's, it's, it's a guarantee. So you'll be rubbing that for two hours in that one spot. That's Just crazy. You will, you will, you will diminish that line. You'll rub it so long it'll go numb. I see, I see veteran makers doing that. That's crazy. And then once, once you get it all, the tip, all straight, then you come back here and you, so. you come across these lines. To blend that line in, right? That way, it's all flush and, and straight. Jeez, it, it's a lot of work. That's definitely a craft, an artistic craft. All right, let's take, talk about oh, John's scoop of loops. One, the, the creme de la creme. <laughs> uh, this is just masterful. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous to open it. <laughs> it is gorgeous. This is I heard just that one was gorgeous. Sold. sold. Look at this. Oh my god. That thing's sick. I'm gonna let Rob talk about this. Like he's been talking about it. That's another variant. Yeah, that's uh, another variation. So one off blade. So you made this blade? Oh yeah, definitely. Well, no, I'll no, make, no, that's I'll make... not your Damascus, is it? No, no, no. no. This is oh. Chad, this is Chad oh, Nichols. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Chad Nichols 3V XHP core, or not XHP core, but actual 3V XHP Damascus. Excellent. Your dark areas are actually the XHP and the lighter grayer areas are the 3V. This is a performance Damascus. Hmm. And it is some beautiful, beautiful stuff, but it is very, very hard to work with. I think it goes That stuff is beautiful. I love the yeah. lower layer. I love count. the pattern on it. Because it's, you know, it's yeah. big waves. I so like it's that. the same pattern on the bolsters as the blade, yeah. right? Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, it's oh, the yeah. same pattern. Look at that. Yeah, they match, or they did. Oh, they, you sure before, did. I see it. Before yeah. I started grinding the blade, all that lined up. It, it looked like one piece. What's that pattern called again? I missed it's it. It's boomerang. 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 And this is Zerkutite. And the liners are jeweled. Oh. 
Yeah, you like oh, that. Like, oh, yeah, back, you can see it. Is this backspacer your stock, or is that That's the, my stock. That's yours, too? Yep. Did you know that? I didn't know. Our backspacers, our backspacers are made out of his... <laughs> it, it's hard to find. I know. You know made it, out of it's hard to, it's hard to, dude, it's my favorite. Yeah. It, this is Rob Ta Rob Tanium. Rob, Rob, Rob Tanium. <laughs> it's hard to find a piece of Tymascus from Oku Tai at 250,000 thick. I mean, yep. you can, but it's guess expensive. what? You pay out. You gotta pay for it. Yep. Well, I was tired of paying for it. <laughs> so Robtanium was born. Robtanium. Robtanium. What, what is this material, Rob? This is Alpha Knife Supply. Uh, marbled carbon fiber. Mar it's a very, very tight weave. I see that. It's very tight, and it, it I like the way it looks. Especially on something where you're gonna have loose and loose. You need this, this busy. Yeah. You know? A little contrast. Yep. That looks good. That's Put gorgeous. Put that perp on it. <laughs> the what? That perp? perp. Yeah. The Flip liner. It. The liners are perp. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. It, man. Yeah. it needs tongue decks. That Scoopy looks I purple. Yeah, yeah, there's you, been a lot of If you Windex that, that, it'll be a vibrant, vibrant that, purple. Like. Okay, let's see. He's gonna like let's it. See Should I get this on vid? Oh man, it's tongue decks. <laughs> tongue decks. Oh my god. Did he really <laughs> special formula? Did he really just do that? Yeah. <laughs> you did not. Look at, look at that perp now though. Wow. No one, no one loves that. your knife. Oh yeah. What? It definitely does pop. I told you, man. I got a special formula in my mouth. <laughs> man, I've got, I've got my photo sitting on the I'll table. Just, I'll <laughs> just spit into a, like a Windex. I'll bottle hold up a sheet that. so no one sees you. <laughs> <laughs> Take, care. Take care of business. Draw the curtain. <laughs> oh, look at that purple. Wow. It did shine. It, it sure did. Hands, That's all right. <laughs> That's crazy. That makes it even better. That's the immunity. Never get that last one. Oh, this knife turned out beautiful, man. Steve, is that yeah. the 3V that's in there? You have, to keep it, you have to keep it old because the 3V Hammer. will yeah. it ruin. So Rob just actually finished his lottery like about a few minutes ago, and he's still got an open bid. But Rob was good enough to join us over here, but he wanted to show you guys some of the, 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 the stuff that the wieners got and Scoop Loops got. See this? It's kind of dope. Point, point. Something I've, I've never done before. That's sick. Let me, show, let me get that. I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so Rob just showing the point so, Rob, over you're, here on you're the uh, open bid knife. The thumb it's twirl. not a point. It's not oh, no. that blade, is it? It's no, not no. an F16 blade. It's a whole different model. Yeah, it's a whole completely. It's it's a prototype. The P40 three and three quarter inch prototype. Yeah. Yeah. All made out. with. Uh, my Robtanium. Robtanium. <laughs> Robtanium Rob Mascus. Rob uh, we'll just call it Robtanium. Rob yeah. I'll put the link up here because I got footage of that. All right. Yeah. What are we moving on to? Oh, wait. Uh, you want to show we still got our, these? Our fighters? Yeah, man. Where's yours? Uh, why, why, am I, why am I first? Well, we're kind of just mixing it up. I totally forgot. We had this is like the Rob <laughs> yeah, Carter we have show. A lot of Rob. Yeah, I can't right. believe all the All the knives. There we go, go Rob. Guys. You showed this one. <laughs> This is uh, this is my tactical Warncliffe, uh, basically hand fighting yeah. knife. Dude, it's awesome. The war fighter. Yeah. The war fighter, and it the shape, it melts in your hand. It doesn't matter really if you're if you're using it for draw cutting, just regular cutting, choking it up, knife fighting. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. This is a tactical knife, Warncliffe. How'd you come up with that design? Um, I really just, uh, I, I've been working on this for a while. Took a short trip to I remember, uh, I remember when you started making that, yeah. Pops didn't think the blade was going to fit in the handle. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely looks like the blade is bigger than the handle, but it, it My fits. dad said, there's no way that's going to work. That blade will yeah. never fit in that handle. <laughs> and I actually have maybe an eighth of an inch of, uh, between the, between oh, the blade it. and the spacer. Okay. Yeah. It's an eighth of an inch right. that I could have added to it. Yeah. <laughs> could have made the blade a little fatter. Yeah, but you always want to leave a little bit of room just in case whenever you're prototyping something. Right. If you get your uh, rotation wrong on your rotary table, it'll be a clo closed position will be a lot further down than, than what you want. Like this would be touching the backspacer, and then you'd have to take more off the backspacer. And then if it's close to the frame screws, then you have to start over. <laughs> start no. over. Yeah. What are the materials you got on this one, Rob? This is F50 carbon fiber. It's got a bronze, a bronze weave in it. And basically, I just took it to 600 grit and sandblasted it to 
give it some texture, some feel, because this is a it's a user grade knife. I, I wanted it to be very grippy. Yeah. All sandblast, uh, so titanium one, finish. Right? <laughs> yes. Open back spacer construction. That way. Let me show the guys that. You can blast it out, get all the pocket lint and stuff out of it. Look at that. That's beautiful. The hourglass. No, that's not what we're calling it. The skinny girl. The skinny girl. The skinny girl. The skinny girl. I like that. Like, Love like, this pocket yeah, clip. that pocket clip really, like really Someone else pointed, uh, Brian pointed this out and someone else pointed out, I think I think Sam actually pointed out, he likes how the, the yeah. curves match the knife. Yeah. Just, uh, it just fits We need to get perfect. a shuttle. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Will you stay focused? I'm focused. <laughs> are you all ready? Already yeah, talking about Waffle House? They're probably talking about Waffle, waffle House. Waffle House is so good. Yeah. See? Oh, oh yeah. Four o'clock in the morning yesterday. Yeah, they don't close. Yeah. They don't close. They that's have a grits. southern. That's a southern they thing. They have, and they have grits. <laughs> they, have they, grits. they probably don't have that in Joy's. <laughs> <laughs> you I guys. Accent. I know that love accent. That. I just love that. I just love Joy's the shape of that. Yeah, it's a beautiful knife. Yes, it sir. took me a while to get it right. Because too much curve would kind of make it too much utilitarian. Not enough curve was too tactical, and then it's tactical instead of tactical. Yeah. <laughs> and it, okay, so that's the that's the larger. Yeah, this is the larger user fighter. user that's model, cool. and this is more of a gentleman style. This is something I was just kind of playing around with, and I'm like, well, I really need to see if it'll work. And then it started looking really good. And, Started looking a little bit better and so better. You, and you don't just take the CAD or file or whatever file and well, shrink it I down. I print it. Yeah, I print it out and then I shrink it on the uh, on the computer. That is XHP blade, sideways satin. Sideways yeah. satin, hand rub. This knife has incredible action. Love the colors you got, the bronze and the blues. Have yeah, the subtle, subtle touches. You know? Now, what, 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 what material is that? This is uni, unidirectional carbon fiber. Aha. Uh -huh. So instead of being the, so it's not marble. Tight, tight weave layer. It's not, it, no. It's well, it's it's unidirectional, but it's such a kind of a it's in a gray area between marbled and unidirectional. I, I don't I don't <laughs> even know where I got that at. In fact, I, I don't think the AJ composites is where I got it from. Whenever you buy this stuff, it looks like big blocks, like big squares that overlap each other. Yeah. And that doesn't matter if it's the marble carbon fiber or if it's the unidirectional. It looks exactly the same. So I don't think they knew exactly what it was when they said it. <laughs> Which, it turned out great. I love that stuff. Yeah. I'm not complaining nice. whatsoever, but. So this is the bandits. It, pop, it flips open, awesome. Very awesome. High collars. Yeah, Scoopy, Scoopy, uh, Scoopy Loops helped me with that one. Oh, is that oh, the Scoopy collars? Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, really? Wow. Oh, so John, Sweet. John, uh, machined these for Rob. Awesome. Yeah. Now I just have to get rich so I can buy material to send to John so maybe he can make me a couple more. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so you can just hang out and relax yeah. while John does well, all the work? If I could just drop the collar in instead of spending eight hours making a set of collars that don't work. It's funny, I talked to Rob and uh, I don't remember how we got on that subject. He was talking about, he's like, hey, he sent me like, he's like, can you make these? Like, Who comes? He <laughs> told me how he made them. I was like, oh my God. He was like, how long can you, how long does it take you to make one of these? So I like, wrote up a program on my machine, did the tool path, and I was like, dude, I can knock those out in like two and a half minutes each. <laughs> <laughs> How long did like, it take dude, you? It takes me probably six hours to make a setup. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Six Going hours to I, spent, like, I spent like a week straight making oh pivot god. collars. <laughs> I did. Dude. And now I can just grab a set and drop them in a knife. So, so these collars you made? Yes, I made them. So now John can just make them? I wish. Dude. <laughs> I, can't afford, I can't afford bulk material to send to John so he can turn them down and, and make them for me. Sure. Now, he did make me some prototypes out of titanium, which is what that is. Right. And I used them because I, I just wanted to throw a little bit of splash of color against that black. Yeah. The liner. I love the liners in the backspace. Yeah, look at that. My God. That's gorgeous. It's almost seamless. But it's pretty seamless. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty good. No matter how many times you take it back to the grinder, you can grind it to where there's no lines and it's beautiful, perfect, looks like an integrity. As soon as you take it apart. As soon as you take it apart, put it back together, it's, it's no longer flush. It's hmm. no longer 
no longer uh, one so piece. Like, like the That's size. interesting. Yeah, okay. So I, I gave up. I just, <laughs> I don't know. I, That's I mean, pretty. I try to get it as close as possible, but you can look at any knife that I make and you can see that there's just a, it's, it's got a little bit of, a little off, you know? They're not, they're not perfect on any of them, and that kind of pisses me off because I work, <laughs> I work hard. You're a perfectionist. I work hard to, to get all this stuff to line up. And you take it apart, put it back together, and it's, it's shifted. On, on the average, uh, making a knife, how many times do you take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, oh put it back God. together? It depends now. If, if I get everything right the first yes. time, I'll probably take oh the knife God. apart four times, maybe five okay, times. Okay, we got. Wait, do that again. We gotta show this one. <laughs> what do you got there, John?